Grace of God, my name is Sister Amarachi Chukulobe. I became a Tuesday in September 2009. I want to appreciate God of choosing for making me a choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I am here to return all the glory to this very God of choosing who restored my mother back to life. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hmm. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. It happens that one of the nights I was sleeping, that was on Thursday night, one of the Thursday nights, and a man tapped me. I woke up. He said, pray for mercy for you and your family. I started crying for mercy for me and my family. Then I didn't know what the enemy planned. So after that Thursday, the next day being Friday, around two o'clock midnight, my younger sister called me from the village and said, pray, old, I don't know what my mother is doing. I said, what is the problem? She told me that my mother is at the point of death. I said, ah, what happened? I spoke with her and she didn't tell me that she's sick. She said that after eating that night, they were shouting together, discussing outside, receiving breeze. All of a sudden, my mother started complaining that her stomach is paining her and she started purging. From there, before you know it, she became weak. Mm. She could not talk again. She could not stand up again. The situation was terrible. So as she was talking to me, I was hearing a noise. I was hearing a noise like somebody breathing. Ah. I said, I will ask my sister, what's, who is making this noise? He said, it's her breathing. Fear came upon me. I cried. I said, God of choosing. I don't want to lose my mother. I've lost my father. I don't want to lose my mother again. I said, they're crying. After crying, I caught some of the brethren. I knew that they should help me and pray. They prayed. So at a point, something said, why can't you call our daddy? I called our daddy. He did not pick. I sent a text to him. I said, daddy, please pray for my mother. She's at the point of death. I don't want her to die. So after that text message, I keep on praying, believing God of choosing what he can do. So they keep on calling me because I'm the only choosing in my family. Whenever there is problem, they'll keep on calling me. I told them that she will not die. I say, put the phone, let me talk to her. I called her, she's not picking. So I keep on believing God. Brethren, around five o'clock in the morning, my phone rang again. I picked it. My mind caught. I was thinking maybe they want to tell me that it is all over. So when I look at the phone, it was our daddy in the Lord. Hmm. <laughs> Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I picked the call. Daddy said, what is the problem? With a calm voice, I said, Daddy, my mother is at the point of death and I don't want her to die. He said, let us pray. Father, I cancel that death for her. I said, amen. He said, Father, I command her to be healed. I said, amen. He said, Father, intervene. I said, amen. He cut off the phone. So I called them back. I told them that my Jew have prayed. They, are, they were asking me, is it your general verse? I said, yes. They said, ah. I said, keep that phone. Go to my mom where my mother is lying. Put that phone in her ear. I want to transfer that prayer to her. Hmm. They put the phone in her ear. I called her. I said that daddy, have, my Jew have prayed for you. You will not die. That daddy say you will not die that I have canceled the sickness for you and they have command God's intervention. I heard them say amen. So in the morning, they took her to the first hospital. They rejected them. They took her to the second hospital. They accepted them and they started treating. 
The first hospital they took her said they put oxygen, it was not working. They wanted to test the sugar. They said the machine that was testing the sugar refused to test her. They said they went to the second one. They tested the sugar. They said that her sugar is about 400 and something. Mm. But brethren, to call the whole story short, I was telling them that my Jew had prayed that they should believe you, my elder brother that called me. I told her that my Jew had prayed that she would not die. She was saying that I don't know what I'm saying. My, but my brethren, I want to glorify this God of choosing. That after the third day, they took her to hospital. My sister was telling me that she had not opened her eyes, but her breathing has come down. So after three days, my mother opened her eyes and she came back to life. Thank you, God of choosing. I'd like us to appreciate the Lord by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. And uh, my sister was telling me that when she opened her eyes, she was saying something that they don't understand the language she was speaking. Mm. She closed her eyes back. Later, she opened her eyes again. And she was telling them that she's coming from a far place. Mm. To the extent that uh, after that encounter, to the extent that her skin peeled off mm. to show you that she has already gone. But God of choosing bring her back to life. Choosing, praise the Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So after that, after that uh, period, after one month, I travel. I said, let me go and see her. When I got home, I couldn't recognize my mother again. I was crying. She looks like a dead corpse. My sister was saying, ah, why are you crying? Had it been that you saw her in the hospital? You won't believe that it's just God. Mm. I want to return all the glory to this God of choosing. Thank you. God. I say, may His name and His name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Secondly, I also want to appreciate the God of choosing for showing me mercy. It happens last uh, two months. You know, every Friday we are having our regional crusade. And then one of the Fridays, I was in the place of my business. And around four o'clock, I received a ministration that I should close my business and go to regional crusade. And then I ignored that voice. So I didn't go to that crusade that day. Then when I closed from the business, I went home. I boarded a bus from Sele going to my place when I come down from my bus stop, I wanted to buy something at that street. So I found out that I couldn't see my purse inside my bag. I started looking for my purse. I ran back to that bus stop where I stopped to know whether I can see the driver. I couldn't see the bus again. I started asking God that, ah, why would I lose my purse? Yesterday, Thursday, I paid my tithes. Why would I lose my purse? Then I had a voice that said, yes, you paid your tithe, but you disobeyed me. I told you to close your shop and go to crusade, you refused. That's why you lost your purse. Mm. So I went home. I started asking God for mercy, that please show me mercy and recover that purse because I have key, there is key inside it and other things. So after that Friday, on Monday, the driver, I was able to contact the driver and the, the driver said I should come to Sele. I went there. He asked me, he brought out the purse and said, is this your purse? I said, yes. He gave it to me, he said I should open it. I opened it. I checked everything inside that purse was intact. Mm. Choosing, praise the Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So I bring out something inside that purse. I give the driver, I said, take this one, I buy something. He said no, that he doesn't collect such money that I should go home and pray for him. Mm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the, after that, the next Friday, I didn't wait for any anything, anybody to tell me to go to that crusade again. I quickly rushed to Friday program. So I came back home. I prepared. It's where, the, where we are doing the crusade is very close to my house. I went for that program. Coming back after that Friday, the next Friday, I went inside. So as I was saying, something said I should enter my bedroom. 
I entered the bedroom. Lo and behold, I saw a heap of cockroaches inside that bedroom. Mm. Very, very, they are much and they are all dead. I, I scream, I jump inside the room, I say, what is this? I couldn't look at it. Brethren, it was terrible. I don't know what happened. I don't know how to manage. If you see the heap of this thing, very big, I pack all of them, I throw them away. Waking up again midnight, I went to the bedroom again, I saw another one again. Mm. I pack them, I throw it. Waking up early in the morning again, I saw another heap. I say, what is the meaning of this? Brethren, as I was glorifying God, one voice was telling me that is why it is not good to miss a program in the church. I really appreciate the God of choosing for that mighty deliverance upon my life. Choosing, praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In this junction, I want to pray for our daddy in the Lord. I pray that God of choosing will continue to strengthen our pastor, that God will continue to increase him. The God of Jesus will continue to preserve the faith of our pastor, that our pastor will end well Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for the family, the choosing ones. I am my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. The next is the 